So, um, good morning guys. Today I want to show you something very awesome. Um, it's a quest system for your RPG Maker um, project. Um, first of all, it's a custom script from a third party site. And um, yeah, you should have an idea of how to insert um, scripts, but it's, it's not that difficult. Um, first of all, uh, we go to the site of um, the script. I will post the link in the description anyways. Um, and copy um, the script. And then we go into our project and into our script manager. And we will create a new script tab with, I don't know, call it quest journal or something like that and insert the script yeah so far so good um, yeah this, this script is uh, a bit different from other scripts I've seen um, if you want to set up a quest uh, you have to edit it in this in the script editor so for example um, this is the custom uh, the default quest, the uh, quest sample um, and you have your certain conditions here, you see uh, the name is the name of the quest uh, um, uh, the level list is the difficulty of the quest, the uh, icon index, you can uh, choose an icon for the for the quest, uh, the description, it's a short text that is shown in the, in the quest menu um, the objectives are the goals you want to reach um, Prime objectives, you can choose prime objectives, these are the ones uh, that have to be done to complete the quest and get the reward. Um, yeah, um, custom categories, uh, you can create categories for quests. You can choose a banner for the quest. Um, you can name the client, uh, which NPC you have to talk to, or stuff, um, and you can set the location. Um, yeah, and the rewards, what you gain um, when you, what you gain when you, uh, yeah, complete the, the quest. So, uh, first of all, um, to create the new quest, um, just copy this here, um, remember it's on line like 878 uh, uh, 780 to 800 and yeah just copy this and um, insert again and change the, the ID of the quest um, and then change everything you want like uh, what is the name of the quest um, let's say uh, find the I don't know cave cell I don't know if it's, if it's even good English. <laughs> find the cave cell, or uh, wait, let's, let's call it find the cell in the cave. Uh, for example, um, we we don't have one level, so we just um, leave this out. So if you, if you don't know what something is, or you don't want to set it, um, then just delete it. Um, for example, I have no idea which icon I want to choose, so I delete it. So the description, um, there you can set it, uh, set your own description, and I will, um, yeah. Uh, let's say, um, yeah, um, find the cell in the hidden cave. Wait, well, find the hidden cave. Find the hidden cave and the cell in it. Maybe. I don't even know if, if cell is a <laughs> fucking English word. Oh my god. Cell. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> well, yeah, my, my English is. Uh, uh, yeah, sucks a bit. So, yeah, just continue. Um, then our second objective would be our first objective. Let's see. Um, yeah, 
Let's um, our first objective is find the cave. For example, <laughs> um, and find the cell is our second objective. And then our third objective, um, third objective, yes, is uh, talk to. I don't know how how shall we call her? Talk to Bululu. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and yeah. Let's let's delete this again. So prime objective. Uh, we want to do all of these objectives, so we won't need prime objectives. So. Um, you, you don't have to, uh, if you have three objectives and all of them are prime objectives, you don't have to uh, type in here yeah, prime objectives, one, two, three, just delete it and everything is a prime um, objective then. Yeah, we have no custom categories, so we delete it. We have no barrel, uh, banner, we have no, yeah, we have no banner, so we delete this too. So our client is, uh, let's see, Bululu, oh, wait, yeah, Bululu, uh, Bululu. Um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, let's call it homepage, I have still still don't have a name for this cave, <laughs> so it's K. Okay. Um, common event ID, we have no common event, um, delete it. Rewards, yeah, well, let's see, we want, um, uh, just, just gain gold, so, delete this line here, and set gold to, yeah, let's see, 500 maybe, yeah. Okay, layout, false, I don't know, uh, just leave it out or yeah let's see okay so this is our um, quest it's it's the quest ID 2 that's what you have to um, keep in mind so um, there are some let's let's see let's um, first add the NPC um, yeah let's create the NPC with um, something like uh, some random actor or I don't know. Let's see. Evil. Evil is always cool. So yeah, let's take this one here. Okay. Um. I will just um. <sighs> yeah. Uh. Find the cave. For example. Uh, I mean, you can you can customize all this stuff and um. Oh, well, let's see. Um. Let's make a conditional branch here. Um, with a script call. Um, there are different script calls uh, you can use with the script. For example, uh, these are the conditional, uh, not all, uh, just but some of them um, are the conditional uh, quests, uh, conditional uh, <laughs> branches for, for um, quests. So, um, let's see, Let's copy this here. Uh, if quest is revealed, quest ID is, is two in in our case. So, um, yeah, if the quest is revealed, uh, if the quest isn't revealed, he will say uh, find the quest, and he will reveal the quest. Uh, he will start the quest the, with this command here: uh, quest and uh, emphasis, and then the ID. So in our case, uh, I will. Oh wait. So you have to do this per script call and this uh, third tab. Quest uh, 2, in our case. We want to start the quest here. Yeah. Um, if we started the quest, we'll make another conditional... Pre uh, another conditional branch with, uh, for example, let's see... Um, there's the R missing. Um, yeah, let's see, uh, objective revealed, yeah, that's okay, so our third, ob but our first objective was to find the cave, second was find the cell, and third was uh, to, oh wait, what the fuck, so our quest ID is um, one, uh, 2, so when we want the last one to be revealed, uh, so it was our third, and it's counting from zero on. So it's our. We have to type in second here. Um, yeah, 